There's a tremendous diversity in life on Earth. For example, we have 330,000 plant species, and all these species differ in their characteristics. My research focuses on functional traits, and traits are the characteristics of plant species, everything that you can measure. And in the past, in the 70s, we were measuring individual species in very detailed ways, and that allowed us to say how these species were interacting with each other. However, it becomes too difficult to do this if you go to more diverse systems, like tropical rainforests or coral reefs. So by measuring the characteristics of these plant species, we are able to predict how they respond to the environment and how things will change in the future. My study system is tropical forests, and tropical forests are the cradle of biodiversity. In the plots where I work in the tropics, there are 300 tree species that are living together in a single hectare. And it's amazing and I'm flabbergasted how they're able to coexist in such a small space. So that's my personal drive to study this from a theoretical point of view. But tropical forests are also very important for an applied reason. There are one billion poor people in the world and they depend to a large extent on forest related activities, like extracting products from the forest. So helping them to manage their forest in a more sustainable way is also one of my personal motivations. So what is the practical implication of all this research? We think that forests play a very important role in the global carbon cycle. They store as much as 20%, 25% of the global carbon. And we are analyzing how this biodiversity and these traits contribute to an increased carbon uptake and carbon storage. And once we know this, we put these data into model and we can model into the future what will happen with the forest and with our climate.